I am a wise-ass white boy from Detroit, Michigan. I parlayed chum-headed chanties of hormonal hijinks into pure platinum. My growing grabbing and verbal vitriol have deeply dismayed parents, teachers, and clergy. In addition to mightily enjoying cunnilingus, I like to devour the sweet flesh of a wide variety of cuddly woodland creatures. I am Ted Nugent, and my story is next on Behind the Music That Sucks. Wang dang tang, little Bambi expires, bleeds from her ears as she falls to the ground. In the late 1970s, Ted Nugent delighted audiences with his wildly audacious outrageousness. But in the early 1980s, caught in a stranglehold of drugs and alcohol, Ted's audaciousness went wild, outraging fans. <laughs> Alcohol is like tipping a crippled kid out of his wheelchair. <laughs> it's f funny at first, but then you see him there flailing away like some pitiful f cockroach, and it gets even funnier. But somewhere down that muddy road, limbs twitching and flopping, it just gets f pathetic, man. Sweet Christ, why did I quit drinking? <laughs> Nugent struggles with the twin demons of alcohol and it not being legal to murder the fans who had deserted him left him isolated, alone, and all by himself. Before I got clean, my life was like a sandwich with no bread and extra sh and pickles. The fecal brown torrent of Nugent's life threatened to drown him in a sixth great lake called Desperrier. I don't think that would be wise, Ted. Suddenly, Nugent found himself experiencing what the Iroquois and Keith Moon called a psychotic vision. You probably don't give a hoot if you live, but we sure do. Yeah. Wouldn't be the what? same without you. Yeah. 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 Shit, mm -hmm. uh, I just paid on your rug. You got the hot end of a 357 in your mouth, and suddenly all God's creatures are stopping by for beer and cornflakes and talking at you in plain American! Come on, old friend. Well, hell, Wouldn't be the same without you, pal. Well, go bowling. Get a pizza. Oh, yeah, man. That'll get you to rethink a few things. That's it. Out of our Lord. Just give us the oh, gun. Come on, Ted. Once we have the gun, we can start to take over. Nature's bounty brought me back from the brink of becoming some kind of rock and roll Joke! The shrill death scream of animals may have soothed Ted's soul, but the rank smell of their decaying flesh was making it difficult to enjoy his new sun deck. Everywhere I looked, there was meat. And I thought, hey, meat! I'm kind of hungry. So anyway, the guy from the Mexican joint shows up with the tacos I ordered, and he's like, whoa, look at all this meat! And I'm like, yeah, meat. And he's like, that's some meat! And I'm like, yeah, well, pff, maybe I could pay in meat. And he's like, pff, Really? Meat? I'm like, yeah, meat. He's like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> then he left. Several hours later, Ted realized that meat was a key ingredient in many dishes, including tacos. He had found his calling. Hey! Wang, gang, killing and the tang. Should I take it up a notch? Oh, yeah. Blam, blam. They had no finer feeling in the wide world than the long, smooth shaft of an AK in your hands. Oh, man, that sounded queer. F*** it! If guns sound queer, then you can call me Diggy the Butt Miner! Fire in the hole! Blow! Nugent cemented his celebrity comeback with appearances on star-studded game shows. It's the Phylum Feud! Hey, folks! Uh, today we got the Nugents! Ted, Shemaine, and Rocco! Versus the Grizzlies! Gentle Ben, Yogi, and Maneating! Ted, Maneating, you both know how this works. We'll play our first round, the double point bonus round, then the lightning round, and of course, the final round, Sudden Death. <laughs> we'll go right to Sudden Death then! Tell him what he's won, Johnny! Well, Chuck, Ted's won our hearts for fighting federalism, our thanks for protecting the Republic from rampaging fauna, and a lifetime supply of sucking ass.